Hello guys, today we are going to discuss about an interesting question. So for a is goes to minus 1, which belongs to real number, we need to prove that minus 1 into minus 1 that equals to 1. Interesting. So before prove this, uh, we need to know uh, some basic concepts and basic definitions here because from where this proof is come into the action. So uh, we need to know here the order properties. So what is the order properties of our means? So that order property is refers to the notion of positivity and inequalities between real numbers. Okay, this is the uh, this is from books. So what the meaning of this is? Uh, the order properties of R gives the ideas to us positivity and inequalities between real numbers. So let's see um, what is the order properties is. Um, so this is the okay. What order property is refers for? We have already um, discussed. Now the order properties have some basic three properties here. So from okay by which we can uh, perform calculation of inequalities and other order properties. We can discuss about other order properties here. And that are here. Support so is one because the order property uh, gives the idea of positivity. So we have to take we have to take a non empty subset for that case. Okay for define the um, three order properties. So we are defined a non-empty subset P, which is called positive real numbers. So the other properties which satisfy these following properties like this. First, if A, B belongs to that P, then A plus B also belongs to that positive real numbers. And if A, B belongs to P, then their product also belongs to the P. And if A belongs to the real number, then they exactly holds the oh, okay holds the following condition like okay if a belongs to r then a maybe belongs to the p or a maybe equals to zero or minus a that belongs to p okay this is called trichotomy property and this trichotomy property which were we are going to use for our proof now First two property gives us the um, compatibility of order with operation of addition and multiplication. And the third one, which is called trigonomy, trigonomy property, that um, states, the, states that the negative real numbers and positive real numbers have no any common elements between them. And also, this gives that uh, the real number consist of that three disjoint sets like a belongs to p okay and the uh, positive real numbers and negative real numbers and zero that's three disjoint they are disjoint now to perform our proof we need to know some uh, theorems also and we have to come across some um, proof here also and l let me show you okay first I need to know a theorem that is um, the theorem is like this so if this a belongs to R and that a not equals to 0 then we will get a square greater than 0 this is our theorem which we are going to use here and this is how it can be proved uh, let me show you here if a not equals to 0 then according to the trigonomy property uh, there either that a belongs to the positive p or minus a belongs to the uh, belongs to the positive real number isn't it yeah there's two possibilities there and so for each possibilities we have to discuss okay how this a square greater than zero so if a belongs to b then we could write a square is equal to a into a. This also belongs to what? B by the first two conditions, first two properties, this one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, first, second property. And next case, 
e minus a belongs to b. That means a square is can be written as minus a into minus a that belongs to also sorry also p. That's the condition too. Okay, this for these two conditions we'll get that that a square belongs to what positive real number. That implies what? That implies a belongs to positive real number and that means the a square is greater than zero. Okay, that's the first theorem we are going to apply for our proof. And next one is if that uh, a belongs to r, then minus of minus a that equals to a. We need to prove this. So how we can prove it? this is also come from the dichotomy law. So in if we take minus a belongs to real number since it is belongs, then minus a of minus a belongs to positive real number. So by trigonometry law, we can write that. So if we can write this means minus of minus a belongs to p, that means what? That means uh, this should be a perfect number, but that means this should be a, which will be belongs to p. And this will implies what? This implies what? This implies minus of minus a is equals to a. Isn't it? Yeah, so that's our proof. Now, um, our uh, proof becomes uh, very easy for our equation minus 1 minus 1 equals to 1. Now, let's discuss our equation. Minus 1 and 2 minus 1 equals to 1. Now, let's take that a is equals to minus 1, which just belongs to real number. And then, we could write what? Um, the minus of a will be belongs to b according to the trigonometry law, trigonometry property, and so the a square can be written as minus of a into minus of a that belongs to b from the previous theorem we have come across. And now, uh, since a means what minus one we have considered, so a in place of a we are going to put in this minus one so minus one square means this is minus of minus one and two minus of minus one that belongs to p and that can be written as minus one and two minus one that equals to this means we have already come across some proof of such type means minus of minus a is equals to a so this one is the a means one and so this will be becomes but 1 and also this will becomes 1 and that is p and that will be equal to minus of minus 1 into minus of minus 1 equals to 1 so which the positive real number and that means we have our proof here so this is the proof of minus of minus 1 equals to 1 we just have to know that all concept and the definitions to prove this it seems simple but we must have the basic concepts. Thank you so much for watching. If you are like this video, then please consider to subscribe our channel and stay tuned with this channel. Bye bye.